Hey guys, IGN is doing their month-long exclusive coverage of Borderlands 3 leading up to the release in September, and they have slowly been showing off more and more of the game itself. One of the more interesting pieces is the new gameplay that shows off one minute for each of the nine weapon manufacturers in-game. Before I get into that though, make sure to follow me on Twitter at HaterHype and let's get right into it. Before I show off the clip for each one, I'll just give everyone a recap before each manufacturer themselves and go over their gimmick one more time. So let's start with Hyperion. Their manufacturer gimmick in Borderlands 3 is when aiming down the sights, a shield will be available on the weapon to protect the player, and also keeping your finger on the trigger will increase accuracy. After that is Malawan, which now allows players to toggle between two elements. It also says you sometimes will be able to charge your weapon and deal guaranteed elemental damage with your finger glued to the trigger. Next is Tidior, which can be thrown similar to how it was in Borderlands 2 to explode like a grenade, but now also has guns that can grow legs and chase enemies and basically become mobile turrets, and just more special effects like that in terms of grenades. Then is Dahl. Now their weapons have alternate firing modes. Sometimes it's still a burst or a single shot like in previous games, but can also now be altered to be an automatic fire mode, not just based on looking down sights or not. You can choose that to use whenever you want. Along with that, the scopes of the weapons themselves can change depending on the firing mode being used.
Next is Jacobs. These guns will have the highest damage in the game, and now when players land a critical hit, a sound will be played and the bullets will reflect towards other enemies. Moving on is Vladoff. These weapons now have underbarrel attachments that can be tasers, rocket tubes, or additional gun barrels, but will run through player's ammo the fastest. Then is Torg. These now have multiple firing modes as well. They have the traditional mode, but now also have a sticky projectile firing mode. The stickies do more damage if a lot of the stickies are detonated on a target at the same time. After that is Atlas, which can now fire tracking tags, which can be fired at enemies, and then the smart bullets will track towards the enemy that was hit first. And last is Children of the Vault, which is replacing Bandit or Scav, and have infinite ammo magazines that are only stopped when the weapon overheats.
And those are the nine confirmed weapon manufacturers in Borderlands 3. It's still speculated that Iridian weapons will be returning, or possibly even SNS munitions, but that has still yet to be seen. That's though where I'm going to end this video. Make sure to like and share, subscribe for all things Borderlands, and I will see you guys in the next one.